Manassas, Iowa, one of the greatest warships ever built. I am very proud to have been part of the uh, Navy team for out of Long Beach Naval Shipyard to reactivate and modernize them. We're going to re refurbish her because she's going to be an educational center as well as a museum memorial ship. The Iowa was the last class of battleships built by the United States and the USS Iowa is actually the world's last available battleship for educational museum purposes and it's actually closing the chapter on a class of ships called the battleships. This is the last. So our intent is, is to basically show the history of gunships all the way from those early sailing ships of the U.S. Navy like the USS Constitution all the way to the Iowa class. Today we're casting off from Venetia Dock where we had to stay overnight on our trip to Richmond from the Marad facility in Venetia. We had to spend the night here to make sure that the tides were just optimal during the day because our transit into Richmond is going to be pretty tricky and I wanted to make sure we had the right tides with us and the right light. You know, as a veteran, and particularly an Iowa veteran, uh, this is incredible to me, just to be able to be part of this, to be able to, to be on board as she moves through the water again. Uh, very emotional, uh, but in a good kind of way. I feel like a kid in a candy store, a giddy little 17-year-old running around the decks again. Uh, the only time I don't feel 17 is after I climb the ladder six or seven times, and I realize I'm not quite as young as I was when I was on active duty, but um, it, it's been just a real honor and a privilege to be part of Pacific Battleship's uh, effort to turn this into a museum and today to be on board as she slides through the water again it is something I never thought would happen again. It's an amazing experience. Uh, right here on the left side of Turret 2, back in World War II, a Japanese shore battery opened up with 4.7 uh, uh, howitzer and that's where one of the shells hit. Didn't do much, did it? <laughs> and uh, he's a tough ship. Uh, after all, that's eight inches thick of face hardened Class A armor. <laughs> Takes a lot more than a 4.7 to go through that. We've been working on this process for the Iowa for about uh, two years. Um, it went pretty uh, smoothly considering. Usually this process takes to actually acquire the ship about four years to five years. So we're uh, doing really well as far as we're concerned on our timeline. Our goal is to open up the ship uh, next summer of 2012. Uh, right now we're still on track for that. And uh, we're just happy to be here today. I put the Iowa in commission when it was being, being built. In fact, I got there, uh, I'll say three months before they started taking crew on. And that was in, it was in Brooklyn Naval Yard then. And then it went over to New York Naval Yard when it was commissioned. Knox was the Secretary of the Navy at that time, and, and his wife was the one that christened it. She had a hell of a time breaking the bottle. It's hell to see this thing uh, go to jump. So I sure am glad to see it being preserved. Somebody could see what it did look like, what it was. Behind the back, like we did with the other one? Yeah. I'm not entirely sure of all of the plans that. that uh, Pacific Battleship Center has for the ship. I do know that uh, when you look at the ship, you can look at it a couple different ways. The, the deck obviously needs a lot of work. It's in. Um, it, it's not as pretty as it was when I left, we'll put it that way. Uh, but the interior of the ship is in phenomenally good shape. Uh, I think with some, some paint and some elbow grease, this ship is going to look very, very good in this very short period of time.